This is Nancy with Nancy's Garden Soap, and I just wanted to do a quick video on what kind of containers you can use for mixing lye. Uh, mostly just want to show you what I use for mixing lye. And I have these two gallon white containers that I got either from Home Depot or Lowe's. And I have two different versions of them, but they're basically the same idea. This one here is Leak Tight, L-E-A-K-T-I-T-E. It is a two gallon container. Um, also available, I believe, in one, gal one gallon size. And the, the recycling rating is HDPE2. Okay, so that is the, the quality of it. So I uh, add my water into this and then weigh out the white lye separately and add that in. They're pretty much capable of taking the heat that's generated for quite a long time. I'm gonna say a year or two worth of use. Um, sometimes I start seeing a little bit of a bulge down at the bottom and that's when I stop using them. But these guys will last you a long time. They are available in a one gallon size, I think at Lowe's. Um, here's another one right here. This is basically the same idea. This is by United Solutions right here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's also an HDPE number two recycling. And um, I'll mix my lye up in these and then I will cover them up. So I'll, I'll mix one, put the water in, put the lye in, stir it up, and then put this um, spatula in a different container to get rid of it and then I'll put the lid on. So there's two different kinds of lids and they actually make you purchase them separately. Um, I, I don't know which one you're gonna wanna use. Um, this one here is for sealing. So I, some of these that I purchased were actually food grade. So you're gonna pay a little bit more for them, um, like four or five dollars for the bucket, another two bucks for the lid. This is a leak tight lid and um, you can put this one and actually seal it down. This would be great if you had little kids in the house who are prone to um, getting into your, your stuff. That will actually seal it really well. The other kind that I might prefer a little bit better since my kids are larger and know better is um, the United Solutions lid that's thin and just kind of snaps, snaps on and is easier to take off. Yeah. This might actually be a leak tight. I think it's a leak type base. Yeah, it's a leak type base and a United Solutions top, but it still works pretty well. And it's not really gonna stop anybody from getting in there anyhow. So those are the containers that I like to use. If I were making smaller batches, I probably would go with a smaller size bucket with lid. And uh, so that way you can mix your lye and let them sit in these um, overnight to cool so that you can use them at room temperature instead of hot. Uh, that's my hint or help for the day. If you have any questions or comments, please write them down below and thanks for stopping by.